one question I keep getting asked all the time is how do we use a tool like ChatGPT as a analyst, say in a banking environment or as a strategist, but not only the problem solving, which is probably easier to tools like ChatGPT, but also to help you create graphs as well. Because you need somebody in the environments who is holistic about the data and the analysis and can create both visuals as well as the, the problem solving part. But today we'll go through how to achieve that in a very creative but accurate way all the time. And it's 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 kind of fascinating to see how it well it just works and how much money you can save and time you can save to achieve the, the results you're looking for without using a human being for the entire analysis. So let's jump right into it. In order to create that the problem itself, I actually asked ChatGPT to create a problem a banker would typically solve. And here you can see it has given us a credit card uh, sort of information and, and asked us to provide following data. So it's given us sort of ABC cards and what we need to do is create the, the results for this and to get the data out of it. Now, this is probably something simple for ChatGPT, as I mentioned several times on this YouTube channel, that actually the best job which AI does is to provide intelligence, hence artificial intelligence, AI. So to solve this problem, it's probably very easy for tools like ChatGPT 4, 3.5, it can help you create the answer. What's hard is to get the visuals for this, and that's what we're gonna get right into. So this is the problem, let's look through this problem. Number one challenge here is to calculate the growth, the monthly growth rate for each of each type of card. Number two is to identify the card with the highest and lowest overall growth. And finally, to create a line graph for the, the visuals, uh, the monthly spending trends. Now, if you put this information into ChatGPT, I'm going to show you that as the next part of this video, what happens. So when you put this information into ChatGPT itself to solve this, this issue, it will, uh, so I've I copy pasted that information in and it then started to create this sort of algorithm and provides the, the how it will go by solving the problem. Done a great job at, at that, as you would imagine, to, to do so. But then <clears throat> it struggled to create a line graph. It said that obviously it doesn't make line graphs. Um, this is not the, the, the function of ChatGPT. So this is where the magic lies. And this came out of a discussion with one of my friends it was trying to use ChatGPT API, which is the interface used to make programs, and they tried to use SQL. So they kind of started to kind of look at the the data it analyzed, and then create a SQL query for you. For people who don't know what SQL is, SQL is a form of a query language used to create uh, queries from databases. So you can actually Get the database to be queried and to then analyze the database in itself. Now, what they did realize was that, that actually SQL was, was actually a bad idea. What worked though, which has worked for me multiple times over, is Python. So instead of actually creating the information and making it into a SQL query, convert and ask the tool like ChatGPT to analyze and create a, a Python code for it. That's where the magic really happens. That's where the, 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 real, the, the real trick or the opportunity uh, is, is to create everything in, in Python. Why is that? Well, as it happens, OpenAI and ChatGPT spend a lot of time to train itself on Python. And Python is a very strong language used to analyze data anyway. So I just created that. So what I've done uh, further is I've actually asked it to, uh, to get the, old, the line graph uh, created in Python. All it does for us is to create the code for it. Now, once you get the code out here, all you have to do next is to copy paste that code into the library, which allows you to do this. So there's actually a library within or, or, or extension within OpenAI, which does that for you. So if you look over here, all I want to do is I have to kind of go and click on the advanced data analysis uh, category. What will, will that, will that happen there is it will actually help you create a, a very well structured graph from the data we put in. So look to this 
we, we can see that all the data which has been entered into it. I actually put in that, that code that generated earlier and then it looked at that, it analyzed it and voila, it created a, a really interesting graph for us for all the three categories. I would say very acceptable by banking standards. Obviously it can be done a little better. You see the bottom right hand side that that those those uh those those months have been merged together which is not ideal but saying that it is a good showcase what the tool can do it showcases very clearly how the growth of these three cards looks like so hope that was a good opportunity to for you to see how to analyze data so just to summarize open ai and chat gpt do a great job at analyzing data anyway, where the real opportunity is to create the graphs. And to make the graphs, what works really well is to convert the, the information into Python, then run the Python code in the extension called Advanced Data Analysis, which is, comes in built in in the paid version. So hope that's helpful. If you did, if you did enjoy it or learn something new from it, do subscribe to our channel. It really helps us to kind of get and produce better, better videos for you every week and we aim to really work hard to find interesting problems to solve using OpenAI, ChatGPT and AI in general. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.